Well, hello, 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 hello out there. How's everybody doing? This is everybody's favorite conservative in New York, Christopher Wright. Here to present you with another one of my infamous walk and talk videos. And what's today's walk and talk going to be about, you might be asking? Well, it's not going to be on a particular subject. It's going to be more of a generalization. And that is going to be walking away from the leftist clown show. There you have it. I don't know how else to put it. I don't know how to explain it, but you know, it is what it is. And the reason why I'm saying that is, you know, there's been quite a few things that just been the final straw for the Democratic Party for me. But even just watching this Kavanaugh hearing was just so difficult. It's like, you know, you watch sometimes you watch a, like a movie that's so bad with the acting or the plot or whatever that it makes you cringe while you're watching it. That is how I felt watching the Kavanaugh hearing. It was just cringe worthy. You know, I mean, when he had the Christine Ford sit down, you know, they were, she looked, she was, you could tell she's reading off the script lawyers whispering in the air every two seconds she was stumbling over her words the whole thing with the lie detector test was just like so much stumbling in and she was also just just her, everything she says was conflicting with her previous statements so that's obviously you know somebody that lies they do that i mean if you compare her to like say for instance the woman got the rape by bill clinton juanita broderick when she was coming out and she was talking about her situation with bill clinton she could go word for word deep to great details to the day to, you know, what she was wearing, you know, all these things, because when you're doing a dramatic situation in your life, I don't care if it's even, even sexually related, it's anybody who's dealt with any kind of drama in their life knows, male or female, that you remember, and you remember the details, you remember in great details what happened. And you can tell Christina Ford didn't, you know, she didn't, she couldn't do none of that. And in my opinion, she couldn't do that because she either was lying or she wasn't telling the whole truth. But either way, it was showing. And then you had, uh, you know, it was in the Congresswoman, uh, the, the Democrat Congresswoman, Sheila Jackson, passing white envelopes to the lawyer of, of Christine Ford on the low when nobody was looking like I was like what is that about like so strange so weird like you know like is anybody else not seeing this like you know it's, it's it's just they were doing shady acts right in front of everybody to see and you know Senator Feinstein just being there and being a part of the whole spectacle and I'm like why is she there in the first place I mean this woman was married to a guy who was in business with China when it came to the trade tariffs, making millions of dollars from that. So, you know, you know where his where he lies when it comes to politics and anything like that. Not to mention she had a spy that worked for her for 20 plus years that, you know, worked a Chinese spy. So, you know, this woman has all kind of, you know, suspect activities going on in her, in her, in her party. And, you know, nobody's talking about it. Nobody's looking into it. Nobody's doing the research. Like, what is that about? And then if you look at another situation, like for example, if you look at what happened with um, uh, the whole thing uh, with the investigation uh, towards this building up for Brett Kavanaugh. I mean, look what they did with that. I mean, they, they, they threw this guy under the bus, man. They were, you know, saying this guy was participating in gang rapes. You know, they said he was exposing himself at parties and just, you know, a lot of crazy stuff they were saying about the man. And, you know, just messing up his name, just destroying the man's character, his name. And they were doing it all because they just want, don't want him to get this, get in there and uh, as a Supreme Court justice. And I feel that the real reason deep down why they want that, not only because they can't stand Trump, they don't want him to get anything accomplished, you know he has, uh, is because they want, they're fear, they're in fear. They, I, I think Trump is getting ready, he's getting geared to go on attack mode. And he's been on attack, but he's ready, ready, ready really about to go on offense. I think he wants to get past the 2018 midterms you know, as smoothly as possible. And he wants to get Kavanaugh off in there as justice. And then he's gonna come after the Democrats. And that includes Obama and Hillary Clinton, all of them. So, you know, I think that they know this is kind of like their final shot and they're going all out and they're pulling out all stops. I mean, they ain't got President Obama coming out being doing his shadow POTUS impersonation and, you know, just coming out and still talk running his mouth about the president and everything like that. What president history has ever done that? No president has ever done that. Ex-president, past president has ever done that. But Obama is. Because, you know, they got them scared, man. That's what's going on. And if you also look at, I come in, I called, I'm going to call them a clown show, not just for the, that, that reason, of course. But if you're looking at, the, I mean, the lawyer for Stormy Daniels, I mean, that whole, that guy's whole character, he should just wear clown makeup. The guy's a joke. And he's out here, you know, getting fake information from, you know, from the internet and using that like he's, like it's facts and evidence. Uh, 4chan, as a matter of fact, is where he got the information from. He ain't got information from 4chan and talking like it's this is actual facts and actual truth so this is you know the party that we're talking about here and these people want control and want power of the country again and what do you think if they what do you do if they gain that back 
you know, they want to be pretty. So, you know, you even look at, you know, people like Cory Booker. I mean, this guy supposedly touched a girl when he was young at a party when she was passed out drunk. And yet, you don't hear nobody on the left talking about it. Keith Ellison abused his ex-girlfriends and ex-wife or, you know, beat her up. And they have pictures of her all busted up lips and, you know, bruised eyes and everything. And they actually said they might, you know, have video evidence of him doing a relative. So they might be video evidence of him even abusing her. So this is all going on, but you don't hear not a people from the Democratic Party about it. And they're not trying to go in there and grind and research and investigate these situations. Why is that? It's because they don't care. It's not about women's rights or protecting women. All they care about is getting votes for the election. And it shows time and time again. Um, you know, they, you know, every couple months they're pulling out new stops. And it's based on a lie. You know, the whole Stormy Dan Daniels issue that they did for how long was that was going on. And, you know, it's like an ex-porn star. And you guys are trying to hold her up like she's queen of, like queen of France or something. It's like, give me a break. And then you got the Russia dossier. Old Trump was uh, peeing on Russian women and yada, yada, yada. And meanwhile, you know, Bill Clinton's, you know, getting, um, you know, fellatio underneath the, you know, the, in, in the White House. And he's biting off women's lips pretty much almost with like the situation with Juanita Broderick. And then you got, you know, even a young lady who was uh, in Arkansas when she was a young girl got raped by that gentleman that Hillary um, Clinton as, as a lawyer came and she defended him and got him off and laughed about it. So I'm like, these are the guys that you guys are holding up like, oh, the left is going to save America and, you know, give women all the rights and minorities all the rights back and all this you know, liberal utopia that you guys are talking about, you think these are people that are going to bring it back and you're seeing what they're doing. So what my pretty much message is today, walk, walk and talk, is just pretty much walk away from the leftist clown show. That's, that's the main message of the day, man. It's time to get away. It's time to, you know, and the best way we can do that, if you're asking me, Chris, well, how do we walk away, you know, physically walk away? No, no, no. You can, I mean, of course, physically, technically walk away. But the best thing we can do is we can vote in 2018. That is the best thing we can possibly do in this country right now is get out there and vote and bring that red wave because they're talking about a blue wave this blue wave that but if you look at their rallies for their candidates for who are running for you know midterms if you look the turnout even for obama when he came out and did that speech recently i mean compared to trump and some of the people who who are running and supporting trump who are running as republicans and they support the president you're seeing these guys have record numbers rallies and you know the turnout is amazing so the red wave is a real thing, man. And if the numbers speak for themselves, the people coming out, so in support, speak for themselves. So, you know, we have something in our hands. It's the left that need to be worried right now. And they are. And that's why they're doing all the things they're doing. And they're totally exposing themselves. And it's it's hard to watch. I mean, even got Linda Sassour out here. You know, she's a radical Islamist, you know. She wants Sharia law. And they have her coming out, disrupting these hearings with, with Kavanaugh. And it's like... Wow, so this is what you come to. You even got, you know, probably future politicians in your party coming out and, you know, being disruptive at hearings. So it's like you guys have no policy, you guys have no plans, no ideas for the country, and you're just terrified because of it. So this is what we get. So all we can do is just pray for Kavanaugh and his family, how he gets confirmed in this week long investigation because of Jake Jeff Flake bringing it up out of nowhere, his, you know, freaking traitor that he is. But, you know, he's always been anti Trump. So this wasn't surprising him getting this investigation pushed back another week. But, you know, they've already done five or six. Let them do another one. Get it done. Get it done fast. Let's get them confirmed. Let's get this red wave coming in 2018. And let's move the country forward, man. And we don't have to do with the Democratic Party. Like I said, they have turned to a clown show. And, you know, us deplorables, we separate ourselves from that nonsense. So thank you for your time. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day. God bless and God bless America. And, uh, oh, yeah, before I forget, and <laughs> if you enjoy the content, and you know, enjoying the videos and all that good stuff, please remember to like and subscribe and click the bell when you subscribe next to the subscribe so you can be alerted to future content that comes out. Thank you very much, enjoy the rest of your day.